Hi everyone, it is the 19th of July 2024. Hope everyone is doing well. Well folks, I uh, wanted to bring this to people's attention and this is ongoing still. Uh, today was a very interesting day. And this event... Oh, I have to do this, hold up. And this event is pretty much what I warn people about. Be prepared for anything, right? Be prepared. In a, in a moment's notice, you could just be like without anything without any computer technology, without anything. So I don't know if you guys know this, but about a billion computers crashed today. And it didn't stem from a, a cyber attack, according to the people that are reporting on it anyway. But it stemmed from a place called Cyber CrowdStrike. And CrowdStrike is a company that deals with uh, protecting people's computers. I know, that's ironic, right? But what happened was pretty much they updated their software and it was glitchy. And everyone got blue screens of death. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone from banks, hospitals, airports. So everything from banks, hospitals, airports, and a whole variety of other areas could not get uh, their stuff uh, working. And people couldn't even get money out of their ATM machines. It was really, really bad. Now... I don't, I don't really, can't say that uh, it affected me because I was pretty much home cutting boxes today. I was pretty much busy cutting boxes. But I wanted to uh, read this a little bit. It says, recovering from the global tech outage could be a long, arduous process, right? Now, there were millions of people stranded at the airports, right? Because they couldn't get the computers working. And without computers, pretty much everything is dead. So it says, the company that caused a massive computer outage across the world says a flawed update has been rolled back, but that doesn't necessarily help the thousands of businesses that have been affected by the glitch. The CrowdStrike software issue at the uh, heart of the outage runs at such deep level in affected computers and systems that getting them up and running just to be fixed will be, in many cases, an enormous challenge. So uh, this is probably going to affect the stock market. It's going to affect the stock market in general. You know, the Dow Jones will probably uh, fall because of this. It affects so many different systems and companies. I don't even know how many companies, but those are just the three main ones. Hospitals, banks, uh, airports, and a variety of other things. Uh, that's compounded by the fact that many of the servers that may contain information needed to get these systems working again are themselves caught in a cycle of crashing and rebooting. Wow, what a mess. And some affected computers might not even be easily accessible, set up in remote locations, and intended to run without human intervention. So this is like, I, I mean, I'll, I'll link you the article if you guys want to read it, but I'm sure you know about this for those of you who have been watching the news. But this is what I tell people. This is what I tell people, right? I tell people that you have to be prepared for any eventuality, right? Like, if this affected my Amazon thing, which I'm sure Amazon was affected too. I don't know uh, if they, you know, if you could still place orders or, or anything. But I'm sure a part of their system was affected. But this is a very big uh, event that happened today. Over a billion computers worldwide went down. Blue screens of death, pretty much. They showed it on the air. Blue screens of death. Now, will they fix it? Yeah, eventually they'll fix it. But in the meantime, people are in the hospitals. They can't get, uh, you know, appointments done. Uh, people at the bank can't get their banking done. People at the airports can't get their flights. Mess, a total mess today. So uh, this is just a little taste of what's possibly could happen if this was a cyber attack. Now, like I said, do I believe that this was an actual uh, mistake that they rolled out this patch, this update? And uh, all this chaos happened? Yeah, it's possible. But I'll tell you one thing. Whoever was in charge of that update is now fired. <laughs> is now fired, right? But, you know, is there a small possibility that this was a cyber attack and they're covering it up? Yeah, that's a possibility too. But I do believe that this could have been an update. This could have been just an update. And the update went kaflooey. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you agree with me what I said. And uh, this is probably the biggest computer outage in the history of outages. I don't think it's ever happened before. Like, there have been outages at banks. There have been outages at airports. 
But I don't think there was an outage that affected worldwide all these computers. A billion computers they're saying now. Okay, guys? Catch you later. Stay safe and stay prepped.